Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Lindsay, and I'm currently 35 weeks pregnant with a baby girl. If you are new here, please hit that red subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. But today's video is going to be my 35 week update on how I'm doing, how she's doing, everything that has happened this week. So if you are interested in that, just keep watching the video. Starting off with me, my Symptoms that it says I could be having are frequent urination, aches and pains in the hips and the back, constipation, Braxton Hicks, and exhaustion. I definitely am exhausted. I've been falling asleep at the drop of a hat as soon as I get home from work. And I have had the frequent urge to pee. I have been nesting. I've been cleaning a lot. And I have been pretty achy. My doctor said that I could use the KT tape to help support my belly and it made me really itchy. Um, so I might be having to get a belly band here in the next little bit. I might go to Target and get one today actually. That has been, that helped a lot until I got really itchy. She said I should be able to keep it on for three to five days and I made it to like two and a half days. And I was like, I have to rip this stuff off. It's so itchy. So I, I ripped it off. <laughs> That really, really helped. I have been drinking raspberry leaf tea from 34 weeks. I don't know if I mentioned that in my last video or not. And I tried to find dates at the grocery store and the ones that I found were moldy. So they were the only ones there too. I want to start eating dates. TikTok told me I need to drink raspberry leaf tea and um, <laughs> dates to help my uterus. So I am gonna try to do that just so that I can help myself as much as I can. I also have been trying to do more yoga and stretching exercises because my doctor says it will like alleviate a lot of the achiness. I have a yoga ball now. I went and bought a yoga ball to sit on and that helps a ton. I definitely recommend a yoga ball if you are um, pregnant and in your last trimester and starting to feel aches, aches and pains. Also, I know that a lot of people share how they drink their raspberry leaf tea because it does not taste good. It kind of tastes like lawnmower clippings. So what I do is I fill my cup up with ice and I dump the hot tea. I do just like a, a regular mug full of raspberry leaf tea every morning and then I pour it over ice. I do a crystal light packet. Usually I do raspberry lemonade or blackberry lemonade and then I fill the rest up with water. So I drink that and then obviously I drink more water than that, but that's how I drink my raspberry leaf tea because we really like lemonade, like Simply Lemonade in this house. <laughs> so if I bought Simply Lemonade for my raspberry leaf tea drink, it would be gone in like two days. <laughs> so I have resorted to Crystal Light because I can keep it in the pantry and Cody doesn't really like it. So <laughs> that is a plus. And I, I've enjoyed it, it's not the best but it definitely covers a lot of the lawnmower clipping taste. So I really recommend doing it that way. I do it in like a big, like cold mug thing. Cause I was doing it in my Hydro Flask, which worked good until the hot tea got like pressurized and then exploded all over my dress right before I went into work. So that was awesome. Um, my doctor is recommending that I get induced at 39 weeks just because she is still measuring two weeks ahead. We got a, another ultrasound. Baby is doing great. I will show the picture at the end, so stay tuned for that. But she is still measuring big, exactly two weeks ahead. And so they said just because it's my first baby and because she is large, that it would be beneficial for me to get induced, which is fine with me. Then I can kind of plan and not have as much like anxiety about being at work when I go into labor. If I my water breaks on the floor, I would be so humiliated. I know that everybody knows I'm pregnant at work, but I would be humiliated. Please comment down below if you're like me and would be humiliated as well. But this next coming week, I will be getting my strep B, group B strep test swab thing. I am kind of scared because TikTok has scared me and says that it's awful, but I really trust my doctor, so hopefully it's not awful and it's just super quick and easy for me. But yeah, I still have an aversion to chicken, which sucks. 
that hasn't changed. That will probably go away after she's here. And my feet and my hands are swollen. I have to take my ring off every night or I will not be able to get it off. That is pretty much updating on me for her. Oh, in the ultrasound, they also said that she is facing head down and my cervix is completely closed. According to the, like, the ultrasound pictures, they didn't check me or anything because I was a little bit too early to be checked, obviously. I think the first time you get checked is 36 weeks if you elect to. But she is head down and she's in the perfect position to be born. She has fingernails and toenails and it's probably reached the tip of her fingers. So that's why it says when they're born, a lot of babies have to have an immediate nail clipping because they grew in the utero. And her kidneys are completely formed. It also says that she, if she was born this week, that she would be totally fine. They might want to keep her for a little bit uh, for like observation at the hospital possibly, but she is just getting bigger, chunking up, not moving as much just because there's not as much room in there. My ultrasound also said that I have in the normal range, but like a little more um, amniotic fluid than most. But like I said, in that normal range, still I'm right in the middle of the normal range, but typically women at my gestation have less amniotic fluid than I do. But she, like I said, she said it's totally normal. She is super cute. I will show you guys that at the end. But I'm starting to nest, starting to think about my hospital bag, starting to want to wash her clothes. And like I said, a couple of videos back, we got the car seat ba base installed in my car. So we have all that ready. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I have my maternity pictures scheduled for October 1st, which I will be 37 weeks and one day. So I'll be full term, but <laughs> my little brother's gonna take the pictures, so hopefully hopefully I'm not in labor at that point. Um, if there is any like risk of me going into labor, like at my next doctor's appointment, I'm going to have my doctor check me just to make sure. And if I'm dilated at all, I'll probably have him come up earlier to do my maternity pictures. But I don't foresee myself going into labor that early so hopefully fingers crossed knock on wood i am not into labor when we're taking maternity pictures but i have an orange dress if you saw my tiktok or my short about the dresses i ended up getting an orange dress and i got cody a gray button-up shirt it's so cute i'm really really excited to do maternity pictures and yeah that's pretty much it I will show you guys the ultrasound and I will show you guys my belly and then we will finish this video up. And then this is my little baby. She looks exactly like her dad. She's so cute. I cannot even wait to meet her. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.